Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Busisiwe Lamine Haruri, the Kempeth Principal. If you haven't subscribed already onto my channel, may you please click that subscribe button there as well as the notification button so that every time when I upload a video, you will be notified. So in this video, I want us to discuss microparticle enzyme immunoassay, which you can say it's MEIA in abbreviation. So the principle of MEIA basically it uses a solution of suspended latex particles. So this will be your cuvette. So it means you're going to have, like I said, a suspended latex particle. So these latex particles, particle is attached to an antibody. Let me use another color. This one looks like it's dead. So this will be the a latex particle that is attached to an antibody, which is suspended into the solution. And as well, there is also an antibody that will be tagged with a fluorescent molecule. So that is a flu not molecular fluorescent enzyme because we are talking about an enzyme. So there is your antibody which is tagged with a fluorescent enzyme. So what happens is that um, the antigen that is present in the patient sample which is the antigen of question, it will be sandwiched between this antibody that is bound to the latex particles and the antibody that is bound to it or that is checked with a fluorescent enzyme and then that will form a sandwich complex. So let's say this is the antigen. So the immune complex that we will have, it will look like this. So this is the immune complex. So once the immune um, complexes have been formed in the suspension, then what happens is that the suspension gets transferred into an optical into, into an optical innate glass fiber which contains pores. So as the suspension has been transferred into this innate um, glass fiber. So what happens is that the immune complexes will be retained since they won't be able to pass through the pores while the rest of the solution is gonna rapidly go out. So the, like I say, the immune complexes will be retained. Like that. And then upon addition of a substrate, the enzyme is going to catalyze the substrate leading into fluorescence forming. And then the amount of fluorescence that has been produced, it's going to be measured. Then we'll say the amount of fluorescence is directly proportional to the concentration of the analyte that has been tested. So basically in a diagram form, that's how you would summarize the principle of MEIA. So now let me write it down for you in words because in a test purposes or in exam purposes, you wouldn't draw a diagram. You will I request you to write it down in words. But it's as simple as that. If you get it from here, that it uses a suspension of latex particles, and then the antigen of question will be sandwiched between the antibody tagged with the latex and the antibody that will be tagged with a fluorescent 
enzyme. And then the solution will be transferred into an optical innate last fiber and the immune complexes will be retained as the rest of the solution um, will flow down rapidly. Then upon addition of a substrate, the enzyme will catalyze the substrate and then fluorescence will form. Then the amount of fluorescence that is produced is directly proportional to the concentration of the analyte. concentration basically that's it so this is what i wanted to share to you about meia if you have any questions for me feel free to put them there in the comment field and i will be glad to interact with you so from me for today bye bye